Here's a quick comparison of bearing and azimuth. Bearing in a bearing expression such as north, 60, east. Well, a bearing has letters for the, the quadrants that affect that, that particular direction. The angle value is going to range, as we said, from 0 degrees up to 90 degrees, but no more. The reference direction that we work with here is going to be either north or south. Okay? And then the angles can be measured either in the clockwise or the counterclockwise direction depending on the quadrant. Okay? So then let's compare this to azimuth. Azimuth, if we take and convert this bearing to azimuth, it will be a simple 60 degrees. And an azimuth is numeric only. It has no letters. And the range of values will be from 0 degrees up through 360, but no more. Our reference direction will be north. Okay? Now, please understand, if you go to the southern hemisphere, their compasses point toward the south pole. So they're, go they're going to use a south azimuth of zero. But we're going to do all of our work here in the northern hemisphere. And the direction of the angular expression always runs in the clockwise direction. Well, let's consider then an example or two. For instance, here I have my north, south, east, west um, axes. And let's say I have some direction that is, oh, we'll call this 20 degrees right here. Well, if I want to express this in an azimuth, that's going to be relative to north. So I'm going to start here at zero, and I'm going to can effectively compute down to what is this angle remaining. I know that the, the total angle between north and east is 90 degrees, so I think you can see that this will be 70. The azimuth of this line equals 70 degrees. The bearing also will be 70 degrees because in this quadrant we're measuring from north. Remember, right up here in the definition of our bearing, we said our reference is either going to be north or south. Well, let's consider something uh, down here in this quadrant. In fact, let's let's take this line and consider that it has another direction, doesn't it? If we say it has a direction going from some point A to some point B, well, then the direction from B to A is not going to be 70, is it? It's going to be the opposite. So let's consider what that would be like if we took the direction going from B to A, in fact, we're just going to push that line down into the other side of our um, axis system. And you'll notice from things that you already know, well, that line right there is going to be, or that angle is going to be the same as what you saw up here, 70 degrees, right? It's a similar, similar angle. Well, in this case, that direction 
we can express as a bearing, right? Well, we're in a southwesterly, southwest quadrant, so our reference direction is going to be south. So I'm going to start at the south, and I'm going toward the west by 70 degrees. Therefore, my bearing will be south 70 west. But now let's consider what the azimuth is going to be. The azimuth is still relative to north. So my azimuth starts up here, and it's going to turn all the way down to here. Well, you may have noticed something. From, um, from line AB, which we looked at before, to the prolongation of line BA, this is actually 180 degrees, isn't it? 180 plus my 70 is going to give me what? 250 degrees. So my azimuth is going to be 250 degrees. Both this azimuth and this bearing express the same direction. They are simply two different systems for saying the same thing. Okay?